A steaming stream is a shock to see so soon, making summer seem so short. But the real shock on the river is man-made, not natural. We're doing our annual fish population estimates on the South Fork here in Conant. Electrical probes plow their way through the waves, washing close to the shoreline. The charge stuns anything in the water, and fish find themselves belly up in a hurry. There's big brown. Netters scoop them up just as fast. Usually I'm holding on to oars, but today I get to hold on to a net and chase some fish. Dozens of fish are dumped in bins for data collection every fall. We always, you know, on the South Fork, fo focus on fishing the banks, and it was interesting to see when we did a pass, you know, down the middle of a side channel, how many fish were actually in the middle. So maybe I'll have my clients fish out the other side of the boat. <laughs> what was the size on that one? The work done here on two miles of the snake provides a valuable snapshot of the whole river system. It has a good mixture of the species that we find in the South Fork. We see brown trout, rainbows, and cutthroat trout. And since they're all here in, in enough abundance that we can capture them, we can then get an estimate on them. And with that estimate, that helps us make management decisions. During the multi-day survey, stats on 1,500 trout per day are recorded. Brown, 273. Before the swimmers return to their liquid home. They come out of it in a couple minutes. Maybe a little bruise here and there. Maybe they'll be a little bit wiser the next time we're here in the fall. <laughs> Trackable tags leave with some of the trout in the holding tank, so monitoring can continue throughout the year on a waterway so many people keep their eye on. Protecting the cutthroat and uh, you know studying the fishery, I mean, certainly it benefits everyone in Idaho. In Swan Valley, Chris Milgate, East Idaho News.